books. This is our first haul video of 2023 and it is Sunday. <laughs> it's Sunday. We don't normally post on Sundays, but we did make a new year's goal that we want to start posting a little bit more here on the channel. We were on a book buying ban at the end of last year. Thrifting does not count. So we have accumulated a lot of titles that we want to read. We couldn't buy them then, but we have bought them now. So here we are to talk about them today. Before we actually get into the books, we do want to take a second to thank today's sponsor, Book of the Month. Guys, we're so incredibly honored to be talking about today's sponsor, Book of the Month. If you've been here on our channel for a while, you already know we're huge fans. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors to help readers discover books that they love. Their team bets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles so you can spend more time reading and less time researching. One of my favorite things about Book of the Month is that it's risk-free so you can skip any month, any time, and you will not be charged charged. Plus, they have the best prices for new release hardcover fiction, and you can get your first book for just $9.99 with the code New Year. You guys, this is such a great deal. We will also be leaving their link and more information in the description if you want to check it out or sign up. We just got our iconic blue box in the mail, so we are going to show you guys what we picked. They had so many good choices this month, and I ended up going with What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. You guys know we can never resist a mystery thriller, so this is one I'm very excited to start. It says they were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. Very ready to see what this is going to entail. And I love that all of these come hardcover because you guys know I'm a hardcover girl. My pick for January was Age of Ice by Dipti Kapoor. Honestly, I've been seeing this on so many people's most anticipated releases of the year. It's already being described as a mix between The Great Gatsby and The Godfather. At the top, it says this is the Age of Vice where pleasure and power are everything and the family ties that bind can also kill. I am so excited to read it. I'm probably going to read it next month and I'm so glad Book of the Month had it as one of their January options. These along with the rest of their January picks are up on their website right now so go to bookofthemonth.com to see the rest and don't forget that you can get your first book for only $9.99 with the code new year. Thank you Book of the Month again for sponsoring today's video. What a great way to start the new year. We are so excited to read those books and the ones we have here today. All right, you guys, my first one is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I just picked this one up. I have seen it talked about everywhere. Everyone loved it. This is the new like book talk trending book. And I've heard it's really sad, but I'm ready to read it. The back says, if he had been with me, everything would have been different. Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but now something's changed or they have changed. They do their best to ignore each other. Autumn has a boyfriend, Jamie, and her close-knit group of friends. Finn has become that boy at school, the one that everyone wants to be around. That boy, okay. <laughs> that still doesn't stop the way Autumn feels every time she and Finn cross paths and the growing nagging thought that maybe things could have been different if they were together. <laughs> As time passes, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. This sounds so good, you guys. I think this would have been the ones I would have picked up at the beginning of my reading journey. Just like fast paced, interesting story. And I'm ready to read this. I think I would read this pretty soon. And I know when we asked you guys what your first reads of 2023 were, a couple of you guys were already reading this book and really enjoyed it. So I'm ready to see what it's all about. This one I had to pick up. So the first one I have today is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This one was so popular last fall, but we were on a book buying ban, so I could not buy it. I did read Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney, and I loved it so much. The ending was crazy. I mean, like, I haven't read a mystery thriller like that where the ending truly gets me, and that one got me. So I'm hoping this one will be the same. It says, after years of avoiding one another, Daisy Darker's entire family is assembling for Nana's 80th birthday. They're finally back together one last time, and when the tide comes in, they will be cut off from the rest of the world for eight hours. Then at midnight, Nana is found dead, and an hour later, the next family member follows. Oh my god! Trapped on an island where someone is killing them one by one, the Darkers must reckon with their present mystery as well as their past secrets before the tide goes out and all is revealed. Wow! I think that sounds so good. Just knowing that Rock, Paper, Scissors ending was crazy, I just, I have such high hopes for this and I can't wait to read it. I got a couple dark romances here, uh, which I'm just realizing, but this one, you guys, 
I've seen it everywhere, you've seen it everywhere, and we have it here today. It is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. I followed this author on Instagram recently and I'm obsessed with her. I needed to get her books. This one especially, I'm in love with the discreet covers. I honestly don't know what this is about. I just saw a lot of people recommend it. It says a match made in hell, the Griffins and the Gallows have been battling for control of Chicago's underworld for generations. I love me a good mafia romance. Their rivalry reignites when Ada, the youngest, wildest Gallo sibling, crashes a party at the Griffin Mansion, accidentally setting fire to the library. Imagine your library on fire. Not the library. Not the library, Ada. To stave off all out war, her father arranges a marriage with Callum Griffin, eldest son and heir. You guys, we have arranged marriage. Cold, ambitious, and brutal, Callum is determined to tame his headstrong bride. Ada is more than capable of giving as good as she gets, starting with poisoning Callum on their wedding night. In their struggle for dominance, who will first break? Oh, I am sold. Clearly I was sold before even knowing anything about it because I bought it, but I'm so excited. We have a mafia romance, arranged marriage, enemies to lovers. I know this is a whole series. I'm not sure how many books there are in it, but I will be buying the rest. At the bottom, there's some reviews that say this is by far the best hate to love arranged marriage I've ever read. The best banter had me hooting with laughter. I believe there's also illustrations in this book too, which is really, really cool. So I can't wait to get started. The next one I got is All of Us Villains by Foodie and Herman. One of you guys actually let us know that that this book is the fantasy version of The Hunger Games. And I loved The Hunger Games and I do like fantasy. So I think this will be fun to read. So every generation on the blood moon, seven families are to compete to the death. And the prize is this very rare magic that is one of the most powerful things in the world. This year, what's different is that someone ends up publishing a book that exploits all of the secrets of the tournament. So not only are this year's champions thrown into the spotlight, but now they have access to past secrets and strategies from previous champions. So it's just a whole bunch of craziness going on in this book, but it does sound very interesting. I think the bear hardcover is so gorgeous. The red pairs very well with the gold. I'm very interested in seeing what all the hype is about. So I just had to get this one. My next one, surprise, surprise, is another dark romance, but I've seen this one a lot. And my dark romance plug, Nikki, told me that I would really like this one. And I trust her judgment. This is Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. This is the same author as the cat and mouse duet and I do want to read that this year as well but I heard this one so good. Everyone was reading it in December last year so I knew I had to get it once we started buying books again. The top says who am I? I've forgotten the answer to that question a long time ago. Ever since I ran from that house so desperate to escape I left with only the clothes on my back. After that day I've only ever walked in stolen shoes. Okay okay could I be a girl who's searching for the meaning of life in faceless men? Okay. They were also forgettable until he came along. A man who will only ever love the deep sea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh oh. You guys, if you didn't know, I have a terrible fear of the ocean and everything that lives in it. Turns out he's not so different than the monsters he feeds. He lured me into his boat like a fish in the ocean, seeking vengeance for my crime. Now I'm a girl who's seeking refuge in a lighthouse with a man who loathes me almost as much as he craves me. It's no longer a question of who I am, but rather will I survive. Ooh, this one's kind of a lot. I guess that's why they call it dog romance. So we have a girl who's kind of, is this like a Beauty and the Beast where she kind of falls in love with her captor, you know what I mean? People tend to love that. People don't love that. I heard it's really good. Enemies to lovers, forced proximity. So I'm ready to see if I feel the same way. Hopefully, there are not too many whales. <laughs> This next one we both had to pick up and that is Indigo Ridge by Devaney Perry. This is the first book in the Edens series. I watched one of Steph Borer's videos and she said she really loved this book. So I immediately added it to my TBR and purchased it. This series does follow the Eden brothers and each brother gets their own book. This one is about Quincy and basically she moves to this new town and she becomes the chief of police. She ends up hooking up with Griffin, one of the Eden brothers. So Quincy completely regrets it because Griffin is the town royalty. And then one day there is a dead body found on the Eden property. So they end up having to work together and figure out what's happening. I think this is really interesting because it is a romance story, but also a murder mystery. I'm interested to start this and see the other brothers and see if their story is something that I'd be interested in reading. I've heard a little bit about each of the books in this series, and this one was the only one that was really calling to me, I think because of the murder mystery aspect. 
So if I do like the writing, I would continue on. But if anything, just here for the murder mystery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is all our books, you guys. It's been a while since we had a sit down haul video. Too long. I think this was a solid first haul of 2023. I'm in love with all my picks. If you watched our 23 books you want to read in 2023, then you know we have a lot of book shopping to do this year. We do have so many fun videos coming out. So be on the lookout for that. And also we're going to be posting more videos during the week. And we also want to be more active on our social media accounts. Leave us a comment down below letting us know what your most recent book purchase was. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do post new videos all the time now. Who knows when they'll come out, but for sure every Wednesday and Friday. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We want to thank Book of the Month again for sponsoring today's video. And we will see you guys next time. Their bitter rivalry. Rivalry. Their bitter... <laughs> Their rivalry. Their rivalry. This is the same Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this series does follow the Eden brothers, so each story does have its own different plot. <laughs> A man who only ever loved the deep sea, or rather the predators that inhabit it. Bro. Return. Return. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> Stop. Oh. oh. I can't look at that. <laughs> That's your only trigger warning. No, I know, I know. I think this was a solid first haul for the first. <laughs> Bro, good night. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. Um.